Welcome, everybody, to the next installment of the Dismount Podcast. And today, the boys and I, we are saddling up and we are talking karma. Woo! Gonna come bite your ass, son. All right, so we are discussing karma. And you cannot, in my opinion, I mean, you could, but for me right now, bringing free will and karma into the same conversation is really something that has just locked in for me this past week of just, I was toying with trying to figure out like, hey, I'm so ready to just make things happen in my life. I'm so ready to create and not give a shit about anybody's feedback on what I'm doing. I don't care if you like the post. I don't like, I don't care to check my Instagram after making a post every every hour and be like, oh, did anybody like it? Who's vibing with what I posted? I don't care anymore. It's for me. All this art that I'm doing is for me. And if I pass something on to the world, even if it's just for one person, if I bring one person's a smile on their face, motivation, a potential spark with you guys, then I succeeded. I don't need the whole world to change their viewpoints because that's bold, man. And what do I want that weight on me of trying to change people's opinions? Yeah. Like if you're not ready to ride, you ain't ready to ride. Like it's not that it's, it's not black and white, but it's kind of black and white. Like I don't want to put it as it's just this or that. Cause it's more of a mixture of like all this hodgepodge of like craziness that is associated with, your free will and the karma that comes with your existence. And this is a trigger warning. Please understand that I'm not trying to attack anybody, but for me, it was an eye opener to completely obliterate the existence of God for me in the category of the way Christianity looks at that figure of who God is because free will, free will is the belief that you have the option to choose which way your life goes. So every day you're coming to different crossroads and you get to pick left or right and you get to make those decisions and left or right puts you into a new category of, well, since I picked right, now I only have left or right from this portion. I don't have those options right now anymore. I got to somehow get back to connect those up if I want to get back onto the right path. And you can hold yourself down a dark path for a long time before you might see the light through the trees out of the woods. So if you believe, and this is once again, this is not me shooting anything. This is my personal I believe in the existence of a God, of a God mind, of someone or something or some existence or some energy that created all of what we're seeing here, that put this into mind concept reality. And I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with the concept of fatalism. And fatalism is believing in fate. That's believing that your life is predetermined and there's nothing you can do to change it. Because that's where I was sitting at for a long time. I'm sitting here going like, there's a, there's a destiny for me. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's all right. Like, I don't want to be at this job right now, but I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here. So calm the fuck down, Zach. Like you're chilling. Like this is your path. No, no, no. I ain't about that anymore. I ain't about that kind of viewpoint. I ain't about leaving this up to fate. Mm, Dog, I don't want to leave my life up to fate. Yeah. You want to leave your life up to fate? No. No. I mean, I would like to have some type of say in what happens. I can make the wrong choices and I'll learn from those and I can accept that. But I can't accept that I have no decisions of how this turns out. Yeah. That's just bold. Like Mm -hmm. to even think like, so what the fuck am I even doing? Why do I even have a mind? Why do I even have thoughts of this is wrong or this is right? If everything's just predetermined and I'm supposed, I'm, this is the path. 
I chose this path long before I came into this world because that's what a lot of people in the spiritual world believe. The people in the spiritual world believe that you, your soul, predetermined when you wanted to come into this life and predetermined all of the lessons that you would learn in this incarnation. Fuck. Like, that's once again, that's something's impeding on your free will to the human experience. Yeah. So, like, spirituality just went out the window for me. (laughs) Like, because that's bullshit, too, right? Like, a predetermined existence that that is what I chose before I came here. Oh, fuck, man. Like, if that's what I chose before I came here, then, whoa, that's a little... Well, we're we're dancing on a fine line. Like, yeah. what actually do I have to play with here? Like, if I don't have anything to play with here, then what the hell's the point? Yeah, that's not. Would you call this like the dance so, karma or? Are, could you yeah. imagine if we went to uh, James's wedding and you're like, these are the exact dance moves I'm going to do from 7:43 p.m. to 10:58, and I'm going to do the the sprinkler part first and then i'm gonna kick that back with the robot and then for you had it or it, it would never work at it quarter would... to ten i was doing the crip walk for yeah. sure. <laughs> of course you were. i was always that's doing about the time for you ten. Yep, yep, yep. that's when enough drinks kicked in yeah, i was gonna say that's right on time for... <laughs> but, but yeah it like... just, it, that's not how it works yeah. like that's where it leans into like that that is not the case and like you just mentioned before we got going was like the the you know it's like like you, I don't know what you you said. Free will and karma, and like that's like the the duo. And you're right. It's like it's like um, you, know, you got like free wills. You're like your your steak and like or, or your your meat. You got to cook on a pan, but you need like a little oil to get it going. And like that's the karma. Like obviously, if you overuse the karma, then you're gonna light your kitchen on fire. You got to use it the right way. Like it's just kind of like something where there's there's a there's a balance to that. Like you get the you get the free will, like that's a given, but like you're going to get kept in check by the karma yeah. the whole time. And and like either like you put in the right things and you get the right things back. So maybe it's not predetermined, but like maybe you do know what's out there for you and that's the way it just keeps you going down the path that you're supposed to go. So it's not predetermined, but like maybe that's the way it kind of keeps you in check for it to get you going in that place anyway. So there's uh, parameters, but not uh, like, I guess, parameters. So they're not laws that you have to follow in your existence, but there are guidelines to getting to those places of learning those lessons. Yeah. So what you're saying is uh, I might not predetermine everything that happens to me, but I might predetermine that I want to practice and study patience in this next incarnation. And so now I've predetermined that that is the lesson that I want to try to learn. And so now so where are you going with the, yeah, what's predetermined? No, I don't No, I'm just, I'm, I'm spitballing more than anything in the sense of like, like what, like, okay, if we're thinking about karma, like it's more of, to me, it's not like a, Karma's not like a, hey, I did this really shitty thing to somebody. Now, down the line, I'm going to get something really shitty back. I don't think that's what karma is at all. I think it's a more of like you're getting a direct reflection of what you put out given directly back to you. So, like, in a sense, it's why that video, uh, The Egg on YouTube, which is like, I'm sure it's like the most popular short story that I just have never seen. But it's like, it's exactly what it is in the sense of like, Hey, treat everyone like you would want yourself treated or like actually like how they would want to be treated. Like you're, you know, I I think the basis of it is like you, you are interacting on a constant basis with direct reflections of yourself. Like anything you do to victimize somebody you've done to yourself and anything you've done to help somebody you've helped yourself. So I think that the karma thing isn't more or less like a, if you put out something bad, there's a tally mark that, all right, we got to get him back for that bad thing. I think it's like when my girlfriend was just at MedExpress and like the people behind the counter 
were on guard because everyone probably yells at them because they have to wait three hours to get a freaking x-ray. And they were really standoffish with her. And the <clears> second <throat> my girlfriend was very polite, she got nothing but very nice, polite interactions back. And I think that's more or less what karma is to me. And that's where I'm going with that. It's not predetermined, but like, you know, I was more of a spitball than anything. I think it's just more of a like, you are, you might not be here for a specific reason, but there are things to figure out along the way. And as long as you're taking the right steps, you're going to be shown what that is. Hell yeah. Yeah. And once again, this podcast is all us learning, growing, yeah, and, and spitting, and, and it's riffing. Free. I'm not charging you for any of this. Like we're just yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bingo. If it's free, it's for me. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if we like, could turn ads off. I would. Yeah. <laughs> so where do we go in that existence of now? We started to toy with free will and karma. You know, where do we go, Titty? Because I found a really cool schematic that I liked that I'll, I'll show you guys real fast. Mm -hmm. We need a Purdue. Hey, if you are and so able to use a mouse. Free will. We're hiring a producer. Sorry. <laughs> free will sits in the center mm -hmm. and above it is your destiny. Okay. And below it is fate. So your Y axis Dharma, oh, okay. Dharma, and <laughs> karma are the only two things that stay stagnant. They stay stagnant. So your dharma is the energy that you are imprinted with whenever you're born. So we we looked at our human design charts, right? You remember us yeah, doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the energy that you were in, that your etheric body was imprinted with when you were born based on the alignment of the stars and the moon and everything that was going on in the stars the second you were conceived into this world. And that's just bold. Like, that's wild to think about. Like, okay, so that is my essence of what I brought from the spirit yeah. world to here, right. essentially, right? Yeah, I mean, that's a reflection of just who you are as a person, too. Like, like who I am today is just all the shit I brought with me to this present moment. Yeah. So all the stuff that your soul brought to that moment, whenever it was like, oh yeah, I like those accolades. Let's go baby. And jumped on the slide and went phew, right down into your, into your body right there. And was like, it's go time, but forgot everything. Yeah. That's cool. But interesting at the same time. So your karma and your dharma, your dharma is your energy that you're imprinted with. Your karma is the energy that you could be affected with in this realm. So those two are stagnant. They cannot become anything more than what they are. Yeah. But you can move closer to your destiny or you can move closer to fate based on how you utilize your dharma and your karma. So fate is basically you fall into fatalism. You've decided that everything is predetermined, that I just give up on life because what's the point in even waking up tomorrow because my existence has already been chosen. Fate's always negative too. Like it's always negative. Crazy. Why is fate always like, oh, like, you know, that was his fate, like to, you know. Yeah, I mean, why? Yes. Yeah. Why? But is like not like a destiny is so powerful and uprising, you know? Like, it's it's already without anyone even recognizing. I mean, me. Let's I won't say anybody, but me recognize. Like fate is always like your negative, and destiny always seems to be the positive. And it's something you just don't really realize because they sound synonymous. Sometimes. Destiny, divine, fate, fear, fall, fail. F's in the chat. Like F's in the freaking <laughs> chat, dog. Four letter words yeah. starting with F. <laughs> you know, like. It's in, that's wild, dude, to like make that connection. Can we go all episode without saying it, by the way. Maybe. Say what? I think we can go the whole episode <laughs> with just saying, saying fudge. Fudge? Yeah, saying fudge. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pretty good at not saying. You, you're, he's real yeah, good he's at not great. saying. It's like, <laughs> me and you know like we're not good. It's like his mom sitting in the corner. I'm like cable you television. No, 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 no. All right, I won't, I won't say it. It's because I'm guilt ridden, Catholic guilt over here in the corner. Anyway. So, so fate. Like where do you where do you sit, Tit, in 
your view on free will, where you're dancing with your understanding of 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 karma Mm -hmm. towards your destiny, kid. Mm -hmm. Because we know one of your goals in life. We know one of your predetermined desires is to become a dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, uh, it's funny and interesting, a little context for everyone. Um, so context for everyone here listening, Zach grew up as Catholic. Derek grew up as Catholic. I grew up as Catholic and still maintain I'm Catholic a little bit. Um, I maintain a lot of the beliefs and one of them that I struggle with, you know, is what Zach mentioned about like, you can't, be fully in the boat that says that you have free will and fully in the boat that says that things are predetermined because they're counterintuitive. And I think you laid that out really nicely on, I might not be answering your question, but I really like that there's this concept of Dharma and I have heard it before and I really haven't heard it um, since about, we have this imprinted energy and, you know, that feels that, that it resonates a lot with me because, you know, tracing back as far as I can, I have the sense of guilt, you know, where I'm a high self monitor. I'm always watching what I say. And if I slip up, man, that just sits in me. And then I need to plant seeds over and over again. They talk about karma as like planting seeds and um, you won't have, well, you won't be able to reap what you sow immediately but you spend the time in the spring and then you can get to harvest. And in between, here's me, I'm planting a million pieces of seed, million seeds. And, um, you got to nurture those seeds. Yeah. I would see free will re- refresh my memory on exactly what was the question. Cause I'll probably go roundabout if I don't. Well, I, I, I was just real curious with the de- one of the destinies that we've, mm-hmm. we've, unlocked for you right Mm -hmm. of being a dad like Mm -hmm. how does that how does that tie into this concept of you know where where your karma is feeding into maybe potential uh lessons that you feel like you have to unlock like for instance one of the funniest things titty Mm -hmm. said in in that episode that we talked about was i want to be a dad but i don't like to do dishes and I probably have to learn how to like to do dishes if I want to be a dad. And like nowhere near to those like <laughs> that that does not yeah, relate like, to each other, but it st- does <laughs> relate to each other. Like yeah. in that context, it was a synecdoche for the entire yeah. situation yeah. of someone said to me, well, said to my wife, uh, I don't have the ring on right now, but I'm a machinist. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, I can't ruin parts. Um but So the crazy thing about that was Trisha said to me, she said, one of her friends said, talking about their son, all joy, no fun. And I was just like, what? I'm like, immediately glass shattered. I'm like, any parents who are listening are probably like, yep, get ready to swallow that pill. It's coming. (laughs) Like, yeah, yeah, it's all joy, no fun, at least until like they're off on their merry way. And then you get a phone call. And somebody's crying. <laughs> like, yeah. um, but that for me, I'm like, how do I make it possible that I can be a dad and keep all these things? And it's like, you can't, you, uh, you got to make those sacrifices. And for me, I, I don't know. I, I would like to think it's in my future and I would like to think it is, but between now and then, I don't know if you want to call it karma, but I need to stack up a lot of boxes. I need to stack up a lot of things, a lot of habits. I need to build that jungle or rainforest, uh, planting those seeds and make sure that certain things grow. And on that note, it was interesting. um, As you guys were talking, I was thinking, man, isn't it interesting? Karma can kind of work. Karma or Dharma, whichever one it is, kind of work like fungus in planting those seeds. If anybody is not really paying attention to fungus, Hop on Netflix. We're not being promoted to say that. Just hop on Netflix. Watch that stuff about mushrooms, fungus. Fantastic fungi. Yes. Fantastic fungi is the is the um, documentary that he's talking about. It'll help you kind of understand the comparison I'm giving right now is just like karma through your actions, all of your little seeds that you're implanting daily, they're going to start to grow. 
And that fungus talks to all those separate plants and all of those things are collecting and stacking. And we can think about it as a, the giant massive energy source together, but all of those actions are working together and you yourself are integrated with the fungus and all of those things are stacking up. Now you could be growing poison ivy. You could be growing things that strangle the plants. You yeah. could be growing all kinds of things. But the idea is just uh, for me, between me and being a dad, I think I have a, a big uh, botanical garden to grow. Somewhere in between there because I'm not ready yet. I have uh, a bit of grown up to do. Yeah. How are you going to wipe someone else's ass when you don't wipe your own? <laughs> I mean, when I ring that I just bell. I kept thinking of I like Big him. Daddy. I wipe my own ass. <laughs> <sighs> Which is funny for anyone watching. Has nothing to do with karma. I was supposed to be in that movie, but I was supposed to be little Julian. Oh, really? But you know what's amazing? We, uh, for our wedding, we actually wrote, this is completely off topic, but we wrote- (laughs) You said, remember me? (laughs) We wrote, we wrote uh, an invitation out to Adam Sandler. You know what happened? He didn't show up, but he sent back a- like card of him playing guitar and he had a little smiley face on it. And out of every single person we reached out to, I won't say the other names, we reached out to like 10 celebrities. Yeah. Adam Sandler, out of all people who would believe that the person who I was supposed to be in the movie, or at least I was a casting choice um, as a little kid, that person reached back out. That's fucking cool, dude. Like, man, what a G. So Adam Sandler, I don't know if you ever see this respect, man. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for responding. So, anyway, like thinking of like the thinking of the uh, the thing you were just saying, um, I I just decided this morning that I would um, work out every morning. Now, wow, every single morning that started, that started today, every wow. morning. It's just something I've avoided, yeah, yeah, yeah. for so long. Um, today's workout consisted of about 20 push-ups and like three pull-ups and then I took a shower. Dude. That's it. Let's yeah. go. That's the yeah. start, dog. Doing? Yeah, I was just doing? about to say, if How you beat doing? the shit out of yourself too much, I know for and, like, a three fact. Pull-ups and I'm like, let's go. Yeah. Done. Shower. I've it been sucked. that guy. I felt like shit the whole time. I've been that dumb but, ass. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but like, I think that's like going back into like what karma is to me. That's how I took this entire conversation that's all i took notes on because i don't think i ever like really thought about it other than like well you, you're gonna get what's coming to you but like i think like stacking like stacking mm-hmm. those like little wins like it's just such like a like it's like cool like that's how you like like not even reincarnation of like i my physical being died but like the death of like like i can reinvent myself right now you know like something i've been avoiding for so long like if i just keep stacking the like I kept a tally on my whiteboard. Cool. One day, today, boom, done. Try for tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. But like, that's how you like. That's how you kill. I got them. one of those calendars for you to take home if you want. Yeah. Cool. For the entire year, so you can. That is so daunting, dude. And it's also so short. That is not a big calendar. Also, that's actually that's actually fourteen months. You mentioned so the- that's November. That's November through December or December of next year. So each month is a. Uh, going across christmas eve next year episode 69 what nice if we if we continue (laughs) if we continue with the weekly releases we'll release episode 70 on new year's on new year's eve next next year so that's where like cool like imagine like until the end of next year if i started tink right tink Think of me down there. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Crazy. Just short but it's like, little it's wins. It's also like next month, you know? Like it just it feels so it's probably gonna be here immediately. But yeah, like, but think about how you do five five minutes a day. Yeah. Five minutes a day over three hundred and sixty five days. Yeah, no. Like that's a that's a shit ton of time, dog. So yeah. brothers, I might have to take an intermission for two minutes. Okay, go for it. Go for it, dog. So no, we'll keep rolling, but I think that's what I just like I I, I thought it was like exactly what tit was just saying was like the the stacking up and like how like fungi like it, it like it grows like the whole we don't have to get into it but like yeah, it's yeah. a whole different episode but like the way it just kind of like you know continues to attach and attaches itself and it creates this whole like just different universe underneath the ground that you don't even see is is just is nuts but like 
you know, I think what, what goes into this, at least what I took from what he mentioned was exactly that. Like those like, you know, stacking up things to build up a, 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 an ecosystem of yourself. Like I don't, I don't have to wait until the next incarnation to finally get it right. Like I can kill myself right now and then try again tomorrow, you know, and eventually I'm going to be a different person. And I think that's part of what you're trying to figure out along the way. Oh, without a doubt. For me. Yeah. It's for like, me, you know, yeah. why, why wait now? What are you waiting for? The next one? You're never going to get anywhere. Like, it's like, like the, the living in fear or the sitting, like I've been so guilty of it. Like the, the living in fear or the sitting around and like, focusing on like what the bad parts are or the, or what's not going right. And like, then you're just giving that your energy. Then that, that's just your existence. It's so easy to go like, Oh, well, these are things that aren't going right. And then so I'm just going to sit there and think about it. Well, then you're just stuck and that's, you're just going to stay in that loop. That's what I've done so many times. I've never turned around until recently and went like, okay, like instead of like being in like a, a, like a flight mode, like I gotta like, all right, man, I gotta I gotta figure out how to get out of here. This isn't it. Like this is obviously isn't the way I'm supposed to go. Like like it's like focusing on the obstacle, just trying to remember the goal that's there or like what you're striving to be or what you're going towards or know that like, you know, nothing in life is is forever or consistent or anything. It's it's changing every day. And that's like like you're not the same guy I knew ten years ago. Uh-huh. Like neither I've known Brandon for twenty plus years. He's not the same person at all. But that's yeah. not the point. Like we're not supposed to be. But the quicker I can be honest with myself about that, the better. Well, the quicker I can finally realize that like, why am I putting so much weight on this thing called existence? Like that's I think that's what It's the dancing, dude. I think of you on the dance floor every time. I just think of like who you when you don't dance, bro, there's nothing like it. There's nothing. <laughs> so like but how much are you thinking about it when you're doing it? I don't think about it at all. It's gone. Dude. It's boom. It's all it's there. flow. It's go. Right. It's but like, all flow. But that's like, then how come we can't put that into just like, why can't that be the rest of life? Why is it just <sighs> this one thing? Could you imagine if you were like in that forever? <laughs> I know that feeling too, yeah. dude. I know that But you suppress feeling. it. You probably <sighs> suppress it. Because I've done the same thing. But For whatever it, reason, because you were told you're not good enough or you're stupid or that's silly or like you shouldn't do that. That's not what people like you do. Like, and you just suppress that thing that's fucking trying to get the fuck out of you. I said it. <laughs> yeah, but but I'll throw Brilliant. this. I'll 27 throw this. minutes. Teddy, I lasted 27 minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, but let me throw let me throw this in that in in that monkey wrench. Yeah. Okay, so 27 minutes, Brandon. I said it. I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm holding this like uh if I'm holding this weight on my existence of the day like I've hit flow state at my job before. I've hit flow state. But when I was done with that flow state, I was like, man, that's what I wasted my flow state on. Yeah. That's like, I hit that and now I'm going to go home and I'm tired. And that's what I wasted my fucking flow state on today. Yeah, Because like, it's never, it it doesn't seem to be about like, like where the energy is going, but if there's a task that you like, you align yourself with, but like the, the, where it's going is not maybe that, like something you do at work where you have like, you know, a creative process or like you're working through like your projects or whatever it might be. Like you're probably like, Oh dude, like I really hit a great stride and I powered through all this. And like, I do the same thing. Yeah. And it's like, man, look at what I was able to do. But unfortunately, that was not where I wish that energy would have <laughs> went the whole damn time. I know, dude. Like when I play Rocket League on a Saturday morning, 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning, it's the first thing I do. Dude, I crush. I am like the fucking rocket demigod that it says on the little title. <laughs> or, yeah, Whatever it says there, that's what I think I am. But like... If I play that same game 6.30 after nine and a half hours of work, there's no chance. Yeah. I might as well just not. And, like, that's not, like, the flow state versus, you know, non-flow state, I I guess. But, like, it just goes to show, like, the energy that you put in the day is just, like, we're not honest with ourselves enough. Like, when it comes to, hey, I don't have, like, for me, like, I don't have energy for this hobby. Like, I need people to hold me accountable. Like, 
us working on even this. It's a lot better when you and I are on Discord chatting through it than it's for me to say, oh, I should work on this for an hour. That's just me. Yeah. But it's it's you have to really like strain yourself to get there. And that's like it's hard to do things for yourself when you live in a world that's just like, hey, you got to put your 40 if you're lucky hours in and then you get the freedom. Yeah. To figure out what you want to do outside of that. And it little, sucks. Yeah. Little are Sometimes we able to it like, sucks. Yeah, and, and very rare are we able to you know align the two. And it just doesn't work. But that's where that's where the boosh, happened for me of like this is not predetermined. This is not predetermined. I did not I did not choose to go through this. Like what? No horseshit. I I call poppycock. This is not <laughs> what I chose. Like, but then I sit there and I think about like. Okay, the job that I had just came from, stressful, had a kid who was the same age as me. He was my boss. His dad liked his dad who was the owner liked me better than him. And that I don't give a shit. I'll say it. That's is exactly what happened. And he treated me like shit and then found a way to get me out the door. Come full circle, I'm at a job that literally knows that I'm doing this literally knows that I'm starting two other companies is supportive. Ask me on a regular basis. Hey, is there anything we can do to help out? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I appreciate it. Like if there comes a place, like I'll let you know. And, uh, cause I want to do it on my own. And, uh, it doesn't mean I won't take help, but I kind of want to build this out on my own. Like we don't need money right now. We're building this out, man. This is our art. This is our thing. This is, this is that beautiful thing that we are sharing with the rest of the world of, hey, we're three jabronis. And we ain't going to be jabronis much longer because we're working on ourselves and we're doing some shit. And we're having those hard conversations with ourselves. And you're going to see some change coming. And it's going to be pretty impressive. And that leads me into my next topic for karma is... Changing yourself and growing yourself is only beneficial to everybody around you. And I know this from personal experience. I have people calling me now who call me to talk about stoic stuff, conversations, and like ask me, hey, what, are, what, Hey, I was I was I was thinking about this topic the other day and I'm like, "Oh, really? What what do you got to say about that?" <laughs> and I listen and I just I listen because I didn't have anybody who would talk about that kind of stuff with me before getting together with you guys and bullshitting about these. So like now all of a sudden from like we're putting this podcast out there, we're showing people that we like to advance ourselves, we like to grow, we like to learn, we like to yeah, it's not the easiest and is challenging and is difficult, but we know that that is for a reason. Yeah. And we're not shying away from that anymore. It's going to take some time. I ain't doing a cold shower every single morning. I do cold showers a lot. I did it this morning. But. Oh, that, this morning was rough. I almost didn't. This morning was almost rough didn't. because it was chilly in my place. And then I, yeah. I oh man, I, I did not like it. Was and it I chilly here too? In. Yeah. I think we might have all been in the same vibe. We're like, I don't want to do it. No, I had no interest in. I had lukewarm. I did not go all the way cold. So if you guys went all the way cold, more power to you. Fuck yeah, you guys are G's today. I I still didn't like it. I'll be honest. I went cold. I did not go cold. Cold. But that leads me into my topic of, you know, what you bring to this world, can just add so much good karma to you. Your perspective, once again. Example, you drive through 51, you were in Pittsburgh, mm. the epitome of just a shit road. On the way back from John's, I hit every single light, every single light, yeah, every could... single one. It was green and it going green. <laughs> and then I get the next one, I go yellow red. And I get the next one, I go yellow red. And I'm just like, me and my brother and my girlfriend are in the car and I'm just like, why is it every light? Whoa, whoa, why can't I get one? There's only 
327 <laughs> lights on this one freaking hour stretch of road. It's all the yellow lights you sped through. No, well, I can't. <laughs> well, and then, of course, I'm like, I'm going to. Oh, I got one. And I I'm get through the yellow. Like, and that's red. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good luck, dude. You can't. Like, instead of like, and that's another thing I, I, I was I was kind of at least considering over the week. It's like, like, instead of like running away from what's bad, too, like, like. I've never really given myself the opportunity to embrace bad. Like I just usually go, oh, bad, bad, go away, go yeah, away, yeah, go yeah. away. I don't Suppress like bad. that. Suppress I don't like that. bad. I don't like bad. No, only good. That's all. That's all I want, all the time. Good, good stuff, good stuff. And that's just it's an insane way to live. It's Whoa. so crazy, dude. It's to sit there and act like that's even a a real thing. Like no wonder. I find myself searching for things to be bummed out or worried about a lot of the time. It's probably because like I try to deflect the things that are actually the little problems and never give myself the chance to process them and go, okay, that wasn't great. This is how we can be better next time or just understand that's just the way things are sometimes and move on. It's like, oh, I don't know what I did, but I don't even want to think about it and just go away and good stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay. And like it just keeps building up and building up, and that's just a bummer, dude. As opposed to just going, you know, why don't I allow whatever's coming to me to come to me, and knowing that the way I react and 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 get better every time through each situation, it's just going to build up and to lead me to the right place anyway. <sighs> Boom. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, I don't think, I don't think like it's like fate still. Or destiny, I don't know. Like, there's like, there's the fate and destiny still are, are kind of messing with me a little bit. But like, the thought of you know, if you know what you want, and you truly lean into like who you are and what you want, then you just gotta do it in the way that reflects who you are at the utmost manner, and then you'll get to where you're supposed to go. But if that's where you're supposed to go, then was it always? that destination or you always going to end up there anyway because that's what was best for you maybe not but like like someone who's like um a musician and like maybe they don't become a rock star paid for every gig they do wealthy everything you know there's probably still some demons for that person to battle but like with the right perspective and leaning in it the right way like you might get more out of it not having those experiences and just leaning into like, hey, I gave it every shot I had and I didn't get anywhere at all, but I did what I knew was for me and that was just it. That was all I was supposed to do was just do me. Well, that that to me is the true artist versus the artist. And you're like looking at me like, what the fuck do you mean from that? And that's what you just said to start <clears throat> the, were we on Were we on when you were talking about doing it for you? Like, yeah, that's how we start the episode. Dude. Start uh, with art. Like, hey, like, mm -hmm. I'm, this is for me. It's not for you or you or you or whoever does that. It's, that's just for me. And I think that by doing that and following that road and understanding when those turns come up, you have the opportunity to keep doing like, I know I could probably do it this way, but I know this is the right way. And like, as long as you're continuing down that road, you're going to unfortunately just die. And it's probably going to like, you're not going to feel any fulfillment. And that's just kind of what it is. Cause that's what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> unfortunately, sorry for everybody, but that's usually what happens. But in my thought process, like at least like there's something again with the quest and what it is like there, that's, that's the noble way. And like, that's what I think when you're leaning into like karma and what it is, it's, it's for me at least like always putting in what you expect out of it and yeah. being okay with whatever comes your way, knowing that that was supposed to be there. That was supposed to be it. Yeah. Bingo. Good what luck. You, yeah, what good you, luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you, what are you bringing to the world? Are you, uh, my example was, uh, uh, dealing with traffic. I've been starting to like, I've been starting to think like, I want a peaceful world. Why am I, why, yes, I see the hole. Why am I cutting that hole? Why? Why am I, why am I cutting in front of that person? I know there's a gap. I got plenty of room, brother. 
but why am I speeding up to pop over into that lane to get around this car to then just get back into the existence of this road? And what I'm trying to say there is I just, me going and making that quick whoop and cutting into that person's lane. Yeah, I understand I had time. I have plenty of room. But I just impeded on that person's like piece of driving in that lane with the correct amount of space in between them and the car in front of them. Two dots. You know, and just <laughs> why did I have to do that? Did I, did I, what did I gain? But Honestly, then, nothing. Because last time I drove to your house and I tried cutting from the right lane to the left lane over on 376, you know what I did? You got stuck. I ate a whole fucking pile Boom. of nothing, dude. Yeah. I, I, I watched every car that I was right behind go all the way up and me just sit there. And that's, karma. Yeah, that's usually what happens. <laughs> so I'm I'm learning. I'm like, dude, traffic for me, traffic has been like this enormous like lesson mentor teacher right now. Because oh, I'm using uh Lebanon Church Road. I'm coming down Lebanon Church Road and I'm about to get on uh like I'm going to South Park. And you guys don't know the area that I'm referencing. Yeah, that's your first yeah. issue. You live in South Hill. <laughs> I know. But <laughs> the area that I'm Cyrus. referencing <laughs> You have to come down a massive hill and there's a turning lane at the end and everybody builds up that right lane up the hill. But there's always some jag off who's on their phone, doesn't pay attention and creates a massive gap. So if you're a person who already knows this predetermined, you know, there's, I got 40 cars in this lane. I know for a fact, someone's going to be my bitch today. And I cruise down and I go, yep, that's my bitch today. They're literally on their phone. Pop in, zing. I just passed 35 cars in that process. And I sit there and I'm like, so am I wrong in that I am intelligent enough or have enough wisdom of knowing that this is my existence on a daily basis? I take this route and I know I can cut right there. What am I doing? Am I am I wrong no, in doing that? See, you know, or is it I've learned the lesson of okay, I'm annoyed with I'm a patient person and I sit here in this lane and I've sat there before because I did it today. I sat there and I went, you fucking idiot. Right. Look at that. Look at that six car gap that's down there right now. That you are so aware when you're driving that you can see that. You're not someone who cares about, you know, constantly change this or just, scrolling this or whatever. I just talked about this all the way home from Maryland. I was like, does anyone not, are they not driving the car? <laughs> are, are, you, are you actually like drive a, a second? Are you just, are you just like living like some other universe? Like, where are you right now? Cause you're not, you're not driving the car. That ain't a Tesla. It ain't on autopilot. autopilot. Yeah. Like, like what, what is, is going, going on? on? Like yeah. now, 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 now have I been there before? I've been there before. I've done it before. I was younger. I was dumber. But yes, I've done that before. My karma was getting in an accident. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say is like you're you're putting yourself in a situation that yes, you know, you know how to read the situation, you know where you can get up on someone, but it's not like like thinking of the juju hit. I kind of rethought about that as we're talking here. Like it wasn't like anything that like short sure, Juju probably felt necessary, but it wasn't. That's not why Perfect got it. That's not why you would get in an accident because that's inevitably what's going to happen. You just put yourself in a situation begging for that to happen. You might know how to get up with it. You might know something someone doesn't know, but you're inevitably putting yourself in a situation in which something is going to finally get you, and that's what karma is. It's yeah. like if you if you know what the outcome could be. But you ignore it, knowing that you think you're better you than keep it. Keep testing fate. Yeah, you're testing fate. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's you're just testing it. Like you're you're putting yourself in a situation where you think you're you not you're me. You're trying to play God. Me. Yeah, not me. It won't happen to me. I'm just gonna out here and keep doing my thing. I know how to play this game. I'm a bad dude. And then you know, then you're knocked out on the field in Cincinnati. I got something. That's the last chakra. You go. So it's funny you mentioned that. I uh, have felt mm -hmm. myself in similar situations. You guys are talking about work stuff and whatnot. This isn't necessarily 
my wake up call for my job be like, oh, go, go do something else. It's not that. Um, there's different opportunities in life where you feel gravitated towards something. You keep being pulled towards something and you're like, man, I keep feeling like I have a sign here, sign there, sign there. And then you're like, yeah, but like, I'm not a quitter. Like I, I, I grind. That's what I do. I grind. I come in, I grind, I give it all I got and then I leave. Well, for me with my work, um, just in any job, it becomes addictive. People joke with me. They're like, go home, Brandon. <laughs> like, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been told that go home. Um, but there's a story of Jonah that Dr. Jordan Peterson talks about. And, uh, you know, not trying to plug him intentionally or trying to promote any ideas. Yeah. But there's the idea he talks about, about Jonah being swallowed by the whale. <coughs> now, Jonah, in this context, is asked by God, hey, you need to go off into the world. You have a mission. He keeps denying his mission. He keeps denying his mission. But what happens? This incredible storm overcomes their boat. And, like... Eventually, he's sitting there in this storm. He's like, ah, oh, damn. And somebody's like, somebody, somebody pissed off, off God. Who did it? And he's just like, guys, I think it's me. You better throw me off. Gets thrown off, swallowed up by the whale. And then eventually, like, once he comes to terms, he's like, I know what I have to do. So, like, the entire time, you know, he was just being – denying his destiny just kept denying it he's being pulled towards something and he's just denying it in the same sense you guys were talking about testing fate yeah and in the opposite instance he's testing his destiny but also simultaneously like dipping his toes into fate it's like hey you don't want to do what you're supposed to do see how that tastes eventually if you don't keep in a very positive light in that sense of pursuing your goal if you deny your goal then that very thing that you're supposed to be pursuing could come back to bite you. And I think that's a lot of what we're facing on the collective, like conscious or whatnot is just these people. So many people are denying their fate. I think it's like 90, 87 to 90%. That's a bullshit number. There's a lot of people who are denying their dreams and goals and it's, it's coming back to haunt them in different ways. And I can't speak for that for anyone outside of myself, but I can definitely say when I was at a previous job and it was time for me to move on, it was about two or three months too late where things just kept happening. Things just kept happening. that were worse and worse. And I was just like, man, someone stole a car today. And it's like, yeah, you should have been gone a month ago. <laughs> like all kinds of bad things would happen. And I'm just like, yeah, I I think this is probably my like, it's probably my alarm on snooze. It's not even a wake up call anymore. It's just like I hit the snooze button too many times on my dreams, on my goals, and then all of a sudden like you're waking up to the fourth snooze button. And you're just like, oh my gosh. You're like, why can't this just end? It's like it can. Use your free will, dog. Wake up. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. I would like same thing. Yeah. Same thing. At, like my job. Like. Why do I want to work out before work? Well, A, because it's better for me to get it out of the way and not have to worry about it after work because I just don't have the energy. But also I come into work and I'm like, here's what happens when I don't work out before work. I don't know. I've been doing this for one day, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> I also went in at like 10 o'clock today, so just stick here. <laughs> what has been happening is typically I, uh, I roll out of bed the absolute last second that I could possibly could. I throw myself in the cold shower. I, I MF it for the entire time I'm in there. I brush my teeth. I leave. And I get to work. And then I spend about an hour waking up. Just trying to get comfortable. There, just sitting there. Just, can you just please, please, just don't talk to me. Just go, you know, be all right. And then I decide when everyone can talk to me, uh, typically. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's just, like, the stacking of, like, Everything, like say if I, if I stack working out every morning, eventually that's just going to become who I am. That's the same thing as like, I think what you're just saying there kind of hit with me was, you know, like 
the the karma is like it's it's a it's the consequences of the actions. It's not like you know again like the tally mark like oh the, the universe owes you one. It's coming. It's just like if you just keep going through these repetitive motions, then you're going to get what you ask for, which is exactly that: underperforming at work, not being awake, not being aware, losing hours on the day where I could be more productive, and then shuffling at the end of the day to try to make up for it. Like those are things that like, and then I'm up till one in the morning doing nothing when I could have just been up at six a.m. get a great workout and feel great at work. Like those are things that like you're just begging for it. Yeah, you know, and that's what's like sticks with me is like. Karma's not like a, a, you know, a tally mark or a, like, oh, we got to make sure we get this one on there. But it's more or less just like it is a buildup of these things that you are. If, uh, if I'm putting nothing but good things out, then like probably going to start getting the good things that I've been seeking back. But if I just keep leaning into the same shit, well, then no wonder nothing's changed. Our hardest challenge in that is the mindset. Right. And that's exactly it. The perspective on even going back to the musician or with like what we're doing right here and, and how you mentioned it, which like leans into if we just sit here and talk into oblivion to the three of us, well, that's what we do anyway. So who fucking cares? <laughs> you know? But yeah. like that's kind of it. Like we do this anyway. We were doing it for 40 minutes before. And I'm like, where's this record podcast? Let's just put the microphones on. No, we're going to do that anyway. We do it all the time. It doesn't yeah. matter when we sit here and do this. We just talk about something. But. I think that's what makes it cool, though, and that's what makes it, like, the point where, just like you said, like, it doesn't matter, and you're right, it shouldn't. It should not matter, because then you're missing the point. This, this is us. Yeah. So, so this, this was, was a fantastic discussion for us on our first dance of karma, and thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for riding out with us. As always, we say, don't trust us. Trust yourself. And, uh, yeah, get funky with it. Stay weird. Oh, yeah. You know That's what, what I want to hear. I did have a quote I'd like to I want to, yeah, yeah, go yeah, ahead. This is great. I wrote down, I don't know who this is from. And if you know who it's from, and you go, oh, that guy's stupid for not knowing, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> the quote was, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. And it's so true. With the whole conversation we just had, if we can just leave on that, thinking about, how many times you have to hit your head against the wall to realize that, you know, you play fall guys and you run and there's the walls and you just, and then you see the other guys hit the one and they're like, oh, oh, that's the wall over there. Like, it's the same thing is like, you know, that you can't just keep going down the same path and expecting different results, you know? And it's the same yeah. thing. You have to keep dealing with suffering and suffering and suffering. And this is the way I took it at least. Because sufferings, it's just going to be there, and you have to be mm -hmm. open to it. But like, eventually, you'll realize that suffering is always there, and you can turn it into growth, and be open to what's actually out there for you. <sighs> Hell yeah! I want to close on one more quote. Hit yeah. it, dog. Vic Dr. Victor Frankel, Holocaust survivor: "To live is to suffer; to survive is to give meaning to life." Talking about the Holocaust. I think that wraps up what you said pretty well, too. Hell yeah. Doug, take care, y'all. Appreciate you. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, guys. Don't hesitate to catch episode 18, releasing next. Free Willy. Did you know we have it? Catch the video version of this podcast on YouTube. Catch the audio edition anywhere you listen to your podcast. Take care. We'll see you out there.